What's up everybody, it's Grant. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do the double shoulder roll. Baby, get it. What's up everybody, it's Grant. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the double shoulder roll. Uh, this move is pretty advanced, but it's similar to the over the shoulder if you guys have seen that tutorial. Um, if you have not, it'll come up at the screen above. I'm still gonna be explaining this move fully and you'll probably be able to understand it still. So as I said, it's called the double shoulder roll. Uh, basically because what you're doing is you're throwing the bow up, it's rolling over the top of this shoulder and then you're moving your head over to the side, so dipping down and up, and it's gonna roll around the back, and uh, it's gonna be on the side of the shoulder, but it doesn't go fully over the second shoulder. You're just gonna catch it at about here on your shoulder. Uh, so basically, how you're gonna start the move is you're gonna hold the bow at the end of your grip, or just below the center line of the bow if you don't have a grip. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your left arm. Uh, people can do this with both arms. The only way I've ever seen it done is right arm throwing, uh, but you can do it on the other side if you want, just do opposite of what I say. So again, Left arm is going to be up in the air, right arm is holding onto the bow. So basically you're going to have your bow right here and you're going to toss the bow almost directly up but still slightly on a slant just so it doesn't roll over your shoulder and then just onto the ground or you know over on this side of your body. So you're just going to let it roll up on the top and don't throw it again. If you throw it, it'll go right over but if you roll it, it'll be able to continue rolling on your shoulder. So you're going to roll it and it's going to come up on your shoulder and it's going to get to about this point. Now once it gets here, since you threw it on an angle, it's going to kind of start spinning this way so the bow is falling this way because there's more weight on this end because there's more bow. So what you're going to do is you're going to dip your head down and to the left and that'll help the bow fall over more to this side and it's going to fall down to about here and right here is when you can grab it, usually with the left hand. Again, it doesn't really matter uh, left or right, uh, but usually you catch it with the left and then you can you know, bring the bow behind the back and do whatever you want to do after that. So again, holding in the right hand, left hand goes up you're bringing the bow over to your back, so basically like under your armpit and it's coming up to your shoulder area. You're gonna give it a light toss slightly on an angle. It's gonna come up just like this, dipping the head down into the other side and catching it. Now the reason, again, you dip your head down into the side is to get the momentum to uh, you know, have that weight be carried over to the other side so that the bow goes over. Uh, sometimes it will go over without doing the full dip and swing to the side, but it'll uh, make sure you keep the momentum and it won't just slide off your back if you do the slight dip and it'll probably be a little bit faster because, you know, again, it gives it that extra momentum. So again, just one more time, it's rolling and then dipping over to the other side. Hopefully I explained this well enough. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.